What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now as you struggle to see me put on a basically brand new glove, still breaking those in here. We are here at NCM Motorsports Park. We are driving the Slippery Type R and this is the second session. If you missed the first session, go back. I cover some of the issues that I dealt with there and we're here at the second session after I went back to the paddock, checked out the car, saw that there was no issues with the tires, no issues with the brakes, no issues with the engine, all the uh, boost hoses were on properly, everything was on right. And I'm starting to realize it might be something else. So here we're kind of shaking it down again. We're seeing what else could be the problem. Hopefully it's something that's not a big deal. We'll take a look here in the second session. And as always, we're going to have a ton of fun. So if you guys enjoy these videos, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Over 90% of you guys that watch these videos do not subscribe to the channel. And that really hurts the video algorithm. And it kind of hurts the you know me being a producer of these videos. And you guys may notice it took me a year and a half to get these videos out. Uh, I've since hired a editor that does cost money so I really appreciate when you guys do subscribe and share these videos and watch these videos all right let's get to some fun times here as you guys see this is the out lap and the stop start line starts right after deception so that's I'm gonna be setting myself up here to have hopefully have a very fast lap I'm tailing a c5 z06 I'm hoping that I can keep up with this person. Uh, I believe that's Taylor from Hawk driving it. I'm not too sure actually, but C5Z06s are very fast. All right, let's take a look. Let's have some fun. Now before the start of the session, I started putting the heat on full blast to reduce the amount of heat from the engine, hopefully. So one thing that does do is reduces the temperatures of the front of the engine. Obviously it takes it out, puts it through some inter internal fans, puts it in the cabin. So I'm dumping as much heat as possible into the cabin. The other thing is that I've had to open the windows because it's so unbearably hot in there. And that does lead to, unfortunately, some buffeting and the microphone of the camera picking up some unwanted noises. So I apologize for that in advance. I had to do it just to make sure we got rid of the heat. Here I am playing with the heat again. I'm just trying to get as much heat out of the engine as possible. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have some fun laps.
So obviously the first lap, car felt good. So turning the heat on and opening the windows, while terrible from our audio quality here, again, I apologize, uh, did work out. Now, unfortunately, the tires are already starting to feel a little greasy, but I'm start trying to set myself up for a really fast lap this time around. Let's see what this car can do on this fast lap. So at this point, I noticed that my coolant temp is through the roof, my intake temperature is through the roof. Everything is extremely hot and the car is just not running right. The engine's cutting power, the tires are completely greasy, too hot. The, this car just not, does not do well in a really, really hot southern heat with high humidity. So I, uh, I had to call it quits fairly early. Didn't get a clean lap this whole session. I could have if the tires and engine held up, but nothing was cooperating. You know, it's hard to really blame the Type R for such high temperatures. It was a really hot day out there. The one frustrating thing was that the Mustangs, the Camaros, the Corvettes, they're all running lap after lap. You see, I got just passed by a Corvette right there. Now. They're running lap after lap, they're fine. The Porsches of the day, they were also running lap after lap with almost no issues. For me, you know, I was going slow here and I noticed the temperature just keep, keep creeping up. You see there, 
a high engine temperature problem just came up in the dashboard. It's telling me that the engine's way too hot, time to bring it in. So I'm going to actually take this opportunity and go around the track one more time, to try to cool down the engine. I, I really want to cool everything down, make sure everything's cooled down and try to try to get the, the engine not to break itself. Uh, it really does not do well at these temperatures. But whenever you see a problem like that come up in the dashboard telling you there's an issue, you really want to pay attention to it. And it kind of just, it disappointed me. I really, you know, I, I looked to Honda to make a really robust product. Unfortunately, with these new turbocharged engines, they just don't do well in the heat. My Prelude would do lap after lap after lap. Sure, it would consume a little oil here and there, but which H22 block didn't consume oil. I mean, that's kind of what they're known for. The S2000 engine does the same thing. Never had a problem with that. This car, unfortunately, just uh, overheated. So let's see what we do session three. Uh, apologies again for the wind noise. I have to do it in order to get that heat out of the engine. But as you see, session two already starting to disappoint. And uh, I do change a couple things up. I, I changed the tune. I put a milder tune. Actually, I put basically back to a stage zero tune. So much less horsepower. Just try to help against this heat. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.